Hey guys, it's Kevin from Box Programming. So real quick, 17.3, as we've all seen it. Uh, squat snatches and chest to bar pull-ups uh, for the IREX. Um, we've been practicing, once again, it's another typical gymnastics fatigue training. Another big grip one, even compared to the last one with the dumbbell cleans, dumbbell walking, um, you know, front rack lunges, and the bar muscle-ups. A lot more grip. If we redid this one a couple of times, if you ripped from the previous workout, you know, we'll take care of those hands over the next couple of days. If you're not going to do it on Friday, if you don't think you're going to probably wait till Saturday, if you need to, um, you know, take care of those hands, take care of those hands. So for this workout, real quick, the main focus for this one is I would essentially drop the bobble right away. At the night, for the for the men's weight, the women's weight, the first bobble, the second bobble, if you get to the third, fourth, I would start dropping weight right at the first bobble, particularly if your chest bar is out there. If you watch to the workout from the, tonight, you can see that they, Scott Pancheck and Cole Sago drop the bobble right away. Matt Frazier, obviously number one in the world, he did the first two rounds, he did touch and go at the 135 barbell for the men weight. He, uh, he started dropping it. I would suggest for most people to drop that bobble right away, save your grip. Chest bar, chest bar pull-ups go up, you know, they're going up in repetitions. Um, it doesn't seem like that much, whatever, but as you get into it, you get into 60, 70, 80, 90 chest bar pull-ups if you get that far. Weight's going to be obviously a limiting factor for a lot of people as well as we get higher for the IRX division, even for the scaled. Um, so key word for this one is patience. Um, know what your limits are. Don't try to go crazy with chest out pulls because you don't want to rip your hands. Because you rip your hands, it's going to be hard to grip that bobble for the snatch. So the advice would be be patient. Drop the bobble right away. Take your time. There's plenty of time within that first zero to eight minutes. Try to gain a couple minutes as you get into that, you know, those second of the three rounds. Um, you know, patience, patience, patience is going to be great in this workout. Chest about pulls aren't really aren't, aren't the best. You know, try to break them up. Try to get them going um, as best that you can. Um, don't try to bang them out, you know, in a row if, they, if there's something that's going to be struggling, particularly if your snatch weight's not going to be crazy heavy. So, patience within the chest bar pull-ups, patience within the snatches, break up the snatches, break up the chest bar pull-ups to what your ability level is at. And we'll go from there. Let's get it.